Hello everyone, today I'm here to look at Ryan Knizia's Into the Blue. Now, I didn't know too much about this game coming into it. It's a game from Funny Fox Games. But, you know, with that sort of name on the box, you are at least certainly interested. It works with two to five players and takes around, although the box is 20 minutes, it's closer, I think, to around 15, 10, 15 minutes. Now, this is very much a family weight push your luck game. So you are going to be rolling these chunky, really nice chunky dice and trying to kind of push your luck and get as far into the blue or down into the blue as you can. Based on your roll, you are looking to get sort of a connecting run, starting with one all the way down to six, where on the dice, the six is a nice chest icon. If you do that, you're gonna take one of the available chests at the bottom, which is scoring you points at the end of the game, and you get another turn. But most times you're not gonna to manage to get all the way down. Most times you end up rolling and you, you've got no ones. You can't even start your dive. So you have to tactically choose what to re-roll. Now you've always got two re-rolls, but you can choose to stop after just your first roll or your second, or use your full three. And like with many games like this, what's being re-rolled, you can choose each time. So say you'd put some dice to one side and rolled some more and then gone, oh, I still don't have a one. I'm just gonna re-roll everything. You still can. So why are you re-rolling them? Well, to get the runs as far down, that's normally the aim, but you can also use them sort of to try and get as many of one number because if you say have one, two and three, and then a five, so there was no four, you could put uh, some shells onto one, two or three. And depending on the number of them you've got, it's that many. So say you've got one, one, two twos and two threes. Then you have a choice. Do you put one shell on level one, two on level two or two on level three? Now, most of the time you're going to want to go as far down as you can, but if you have a load of twos, you might choose to go there. Because at the end of the game, whoever has the most shells in one of those layers is gonna score the, sort of the big points on offer. There's also then points for second and third place, uh, third place if there's four or five players, um, uh, but they are less than the main prize. They're always half. So for instance, if you win level five, you're gonna get 10 points for having the most shells there. And if you're second, you'll only gain five. Third would also gain five, which is an interesting one, certainly uh, when you get more players, because it doesn't really matter if you're second or third. So do you care if someone else is sort of equaling you or going above you if you're not going for first? Well, that kind of leads into some of the choices. So on your turn, you're gonna roll the dice, hopefully get a chest and have another turn, but more likely just rolling the dice, getting a combination and then putting some shells out. Then passing the dice on and just keep going clockwise around the table. The game ends when either all of the chests are taken and the game is instantly over, or when someone has put all of their shells down, everyone else gets a final turn. That's when you work out who has the most in each layer, add that to the points from chests that people have picked up along the way, and the winner is crowned. Now, a couple of the times we've played this, it has been interesting where someone's, certainly I've done this, I thought I was ahead on points, really far ahead, because I'd, you know, I'd got a chest, I'd got quite a lot of points from being like the majority on number five, and thinking, well, Let's try and end the game. So just put loads of shells out when I, I rolled a load of like ones or twos just to get the shells out and end the game. The problem is people could then push their luck before it finished, the game finished. So someone actually managed to get two chests. It was unbelievable. It, you know, it was a real push your luck moment, but the luck is going to be there. Uh, it is a very simple, quick game. So it doesn't matter if luck's there for me. And this is kind of what this game is about. It's rolling dice. You know, if you're going into this thinking there won't be luck, you know, maybe you're on for more of a problem. The production of this, 
I would say 90% absolutely brilliant. The dice, lovely, chunky dice. The shells, uh, some of them may be slightly different colours, so like the blues, it looks like there's a slightly lighter shade. I still think they're absolutely glorious, although blue on blue was a little hard to see compared to some of the other colours. The board itself, uh, actually double layered, dual layered, so you can actually put the points in along, uh, but then easily pick them up because of the way the board was designed, which that's a great touch. However, when I put the board out um, on one of the plays, I put it down, it was not flat, so I pushed it flat and it kind of broke into two. Not a problem, it was a clean break, but it was a little awkward. Um, uh, it, it's absolutely fine and playable, but um, it didn't look like it should have done that. Um, but all in all, it's a pretty nice production, uh, full of nice, sort of bright, vibrant colours. Who is this going to be aimed at? If you're looking for a game that's really going to, you know, involve you, probably not. Um, will I play this too much more? I might get it out every now and again. Um, you know, if you've got 10 minutes and a couple of people that just want to roll some dice quickly, maybe have, while you're chatting, uh, it, it's kind of good for that. But it really is aimed for more of the family audience, I think, rather than a gamer. Um, just because it's so light. It's just basically, yes, there is the choices. The choices of do I go for maximizing loads on level one or do I try and squeeze a few into level two to try and pit that person to the post and there's some interesting choices there but it's so such a quick game that it's like oh well I'll just throw them out on three I'll put some on two and try and push your luck and get some chests and then it was kind of over so I think you know the luck of the dice that works with family oriented games because it kind of levels the the playing field and I think that's who this game would really work with. Anyway check out other news reviews and such on the channel um, there's how to plays and all that sort of jazz and until next time I'm Oliver East signing out.